The following podcast is not real, but it is really sponsored by Busy Beaver Button Company, who asked us to play this song as their ad. One, two, three, four. Buttons. 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 Yeah. Buttons by BusyBeaver.net. Hello from the Magic Tavern, a weekly podcast from the magical land of Foon. I'm your host, Chunt. If you haven't listened to any of the previous episodes, here's a little bit about what's going on. Our friend Arnie fell through a magical portal behind a Burger King and arrived in this world that we don't view as magical. Seems but fine to me. He had his podcasting equipment with him, and he's been hosting a weekly podcast from this uh, from this tavern, the Vermilion Minotaur. Uh, with me always is my good, good friend and boon companion, Usador. Usador, wizard of the twelfth realm of Ephesius, master of light and shadow, manipulator of magical delights, devourer of chaos, champion of the great halls of Tarakis. The elves know me as Fiang Yalak, the wedding planners know me as Dale Sprinkle Sleeves, and the dwarves know me as Zonin Hoog Stangies. I am think? known in the northeast as Gasmanius Maystar, and there may be others here. You know, I, a few things. One, I don't know why Arnie calls it Hello from the Magic Tavern when it should be Hello from the Vermilion Minotaur. Doesn't that seem weird? Yes, it does. Also, Arnie ran off into the woods. Uh, the last episode, I'm not sure if people heard this or I don't know what he- people hear. I don't know if people can hear me now. But Arnie ran out of the barn into the woods looking for his wife. I guess Sarah showed up. Uh, so I don't know if he's gone for good or what. But I got to be honest, I kind of miss him. And I, you said, I, I know. Oh, true, true. I set up this bag of grain over here and painted his face on it just because I kind of... Yes, it does look like him. I just kind of miss him. I mean, well, I actually put three bags of grain together. Yeah, I was, I was going to say, the girth is correct. Yeah. I painted on I hate my wife and kid and then crossed it out because I just felt bad. <laughs> I feel like it's not right to kick him when he's down. You know, oh, I that's just, very true. He's a good friend. He's Although, a good, yes, he yeah. is a very good friend. Uh, although, perhaps, maybe he has found his wife. And maybe they're here in Foon together now. Yeah. Uh, we, don't, we don't know anything. I. Why are we. So, are we just. Uh, why are we doing this still? I just want to keep up the uh, the podcast, and uh, I invited back ah. um, uh, one of our, our dear, dear friends, um, one of my favorite ticklers of Cox, uh, uh, yeah. Tom the Traveler. Hello, from A Magic Tavern. Uh, oh, yes, that I would like be that. more accurate. That would be like saying. Hello from the Dwarvish Restaurant. Which, which one? Which one, yeah. Which right, one? exactly, exactly. Man, you... We've got to let the people of Earth know that we're still here. Of course, people of Earth, you are now hearing the sweet dulcet tones of Tom Blaine Bellroth. It's likely that Arno's wife arrived to kill him. Arnie, he prefers to be called Arnie. Arnie? Mm-hmm. I believe it's actually Arnold, but he, Arna. He prefers Arnie. I understand. I'm chunked. Well, I just want to make sure everything uh, goes um, as smooth as possible. Tom, what have you been up to? Well, uh, I've been on tour up and down the Overlanders Road. Oh, yes, Ooh. you were on tour with the Cock Ticklers, if I remember correctly. Yes, I had to take a month off, no thanks to you guys, Minus, because uh, I became addicted to the Morglob that you sold me. Well, it's a dangerous substance. Nasty I always habit. warn Nasty people. Nasty habit. I sell it to you, and then I shake my... F- I wag my finger at you, and I say, don't... You shouldn't be doing this. Well, it's all well and good when you're vomiting. No. But then you wake up in the morning feeling higher the next day. That's very true. You're welcome. But I've been a part of two productions. Um, one is a production of Danlet. Oh, one oh, of Dan my favourites. Yeah. I don't know if you have Danlet in your world, Earth, <laughs> but it is possibly the greatest play ever written. It's about... Um, a boy called Danlet, and his aunt, who is a hunger ghost, eats his mother. Oh, yes, a very sad, sad tale. Any play with a hunger ghost and I'm there, I'm sold, right? Did you play the hunger ghost? No, I played Danlet. 
Oh, yes, wow. I played oh, Dan Laird. Very, yes. what, a, what a turn of events to, for such a young such a shredder of the boards yeah. to, get, to capture such a high coveted role. Indeed, and I believe a relative of yours plays the lead female role, Helen Chunt. Oh, yes. You yes. know Helen? She is as good as it gets. She's my... <laughs> She's my aunt. She's uh, she's my uh, you know my dad and, and Bonnie. Uh, yeah. That's, yes. That's his Helen sister. Chunt. She is amazing. Actually, oh, this makes sense now because uh, Bonnie Chunt was in here a couple of nights ago, and I saw her, and she mentioned you. She didn't mention you were playing Danlet, which I would love to see, by the way. But she said she was mad about you. <laughs> mad about me? Yes. Bonnie Chunt said that. <laughs> oh damn it! No. So Danlet, so you played yes. Danlet. That's a huge role for for such a young cocktailer. Yes. What, I mean, well, is um, it still running? Can we see you? What's going on? It's closed, oh. but I've been nominated for a tosser. <gasps> and if you don't know, um, all those of you from another world, a tosser is the best award that you can win in acting, and it's called that because it's the person who's most able to toss off who they are. And inhabit a new person. That is amazing. Holy crap. It's perfectly crazy. logically named. Yeah. Yes. The Tossers are being held this year in the Northeast. Oh, so oh. you'd have to see your family. So well, is it being held at the castle? Indeed. Oh. It's being hosted by my mother. Oh, yes. yum, 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 Yay. yum. Well, don't say that. Oh, but sometimes I think about Tanya. And, I have to run to the bathroom real quick. Can you... <laughs> Give me a goat to kill, so, or can you come with me to... I know what you're doing in there. What? I just want to sacrifice a goat and conjure a picture of your mom in its blood. In the bathroom. In the bathroom, by yourself. Just for, I mean... Just to pass the fine, time. Fine, fine, I won't, fine. I was going to jerk it to your mom. Yes, I know you were. Everyone they does. probably don't know what that means. If you live on Earth, jerk it. Jerk it is to imagine to have sex... But to use your hand, mm -hmm. and you with your hand, you just jerk it. And now that Arnold's not here, I have many questions about Earth things. Perhaps you can email Chunt or Arnie and answer one of these questions. There's a couple of things that Chunt and I have said that, uh, that Arnold has responded by saying, if she said something like that in my world, it would lead to a race war. And I, I think, is it, was well, it more of a race or is it more of a war? Are you just running and whoever wins the race yeah. wins the war and the other person just uh, gives up and lets their king be murdered? And no, a race lands. war is when you're running fast and you're trying to see who gets to the finish line first, but you're allowed you're, to you're punch. You're fighting along the way. Fight. Yes, that was my question. Is yes. it a, is it a, is it it's a, like a game of mittens where you right, can yes. sort of, yeah. Ew, yeah. Yes. Oh. Yes, I think that's what he means. So it please was, email us and let us know what a race war is. Yes, ten, send us a pigeon. <laughs> well, we have access to Arnie's computer. Yes, but, they uh, have a, they have these. Um, I, don't, I don't know. How I don't to know how to describe exactly. it. But if you if you if you put your energy into chunt with six t's at gmail dot com, uh, I can somehow read it on this device. I don't know. It's Imagine a flat piece of wood, but it's made out of metal. All right. <laughs> <laughs> and then there are pictures on it and words. Why? I don't know. Uh, I think Arnold's world is stupid. Arnie. What? I, I, as far as I've been able to discern, I, it does seem like a rather flat and boring place. Can we, but he doesn't tell us much about it, to yeah, be since, fair. Since he's not here, since Chunt's running the show, let's, yes, uh, yes. let's speculate about some Earth stuff. Like, what do you guys think a Woody Allen is? A Woody Allen? I think that that's a boy called Allen, mm -hmm. whose one of his grandparents is a tree. Okay. I think it's a bourbon cocktail. Okay. What do you guys think uh, Pure Michigan is? Mm -hmm. I think it's when you're having sex with someone in one of their buttholes, and then you put your finger in the other butthole. Uh, let's hope so. I think it's a really good straight and more globe. What, uh, the Burger King? He never talks much about the Burger King? The king of burgers, I suppose. Yeah. Yes. Yes, probably the king of burgers, or a very humble king. Yeah. What I'm not like my father. Oh. Have you not made any attempt to contact your family and let them know that you're all right? No, but I am going back. I'm going back to receive my tosser. And I'm going to tell my parents that I'm leaving to join Gasmoinus's quest. <gasps> what? Yes. Congratulations. This is amazing. What is that now? Three? Uh, well, there's Pimbley Nimblebottom. Uh-huh. Uh, there's Tom. Tom. 
Uh, and there was a third one. Uh, you? Uh, me! <laughs> I believe we must fight the Dark Lord. I've been up and down the Overlander's Road, and of late there are many rumors about the Dark Lord. What have you heard? I have heard that he now has a metal horse from the world of Earth. A metal horse. Arnie, Arnie came here in a metal horse. Oh, that's right. Remember he said he fell through in his metal horse? He called it a car? Yes. Perhaps he has uh, found this car or managed to look at it and create one of his own. All right, here's Ooh. what we'll do. Here's my plan. Usador, right now I need you to make me a tiny metal horse. Okay. And make it with three metal buttholes. Three metal buttholes. I have to do something. Yeah, you take your time. Have you heard any other rumors? Have you seen anything else that might be of concern? Bad things are happening. As I have been abroad, I have seen many terrible mishaps. What have you seen? A bag of sand fell on a fellow actor. Was it like, did they not restrain it properly? or? Well, all the bad things that happen, you could say, are accidents. But there have been too many accidents. To be coincidental. Yes. What do you what what do you feel like you can contribute to the quest? What powers or talents? Oh, it's a metal butthole with three horses. Uh, sorry. No. Well, at least it will be able to get around. <laughs> we should probably just kill this. We're gonna take a little bit of a break here. So um I'm going to go grab us some uh, meads or some uh, rainbow bowls, and we'll be right back. Welcome to Burger King. Would you like to try our Yumbo hot ham and cheese sandwich today? Hello? Linda, they're back. I swear to God, something's messing with me. Ooh, hey there, good looking. It's Chunt letting you know you can check out all of our bonus material, including my personal favorite, Offices and Bosses, over at patreon.com slash magic tavern. Bye-bye. We were talking on the break if uh, we, we know that Arnie's somehow doing t-shirts and we were talking about maybe doing a t-shirt with a metal butthole and three horses. Or just buttholes. Or maybe my face and it says, ask me about my two buttholes. Oh, I like that one. Yeah? Yes. Maybe I'm weakened? Yes, no, but... Of course. <laughs> is not that a bit common? Ask me about my two buttholes? Well, do people on Earth, how many buttholes do they have? I think oh, Arnie only has one. Know. Yes, but he might be a freak. Well, he... I mean, we how can... many different races are there on Earth? I think two, right? Will you send us an email to tell us... How are there dwarves? Are there elves? Yes. Uh, just give us a full assessment of how many of what the races just are on your breakdown. Yeah, like a breakdown. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Uh, now, Tom, I, I've been meaning to tell you, and I, I have forgotten. We have lost track of it. Uh, but your sister came here and was once a guest on the show. Trachea. Yes, Trachea Aurelia. No. Oh, I know. She's quite a pain in the bottom, and she was looking for you. Who did not tell her of me, did no, you? No, no, no. Even Arnold, as foolish as he is, kept Arnie. his mouth shut. Arnie. Uh, yes, Arnie. I wish not to see her. Oh, she is quite evil, and I think she wants me dead. I, I've I've never met anyone more clearly evil, except for the boy uh, who, uh, had, uh, cats come out of his mouth. The, oh, the boy here. Um, What's his name? Blemish. Sming, smong, yeah, the boy. That's what it is. Yes, exactly. Yes, no, he is evil. Oh, clearly. What yeah. was it like growing up with her? Is she Was she always kind of mean to you? What, what kind of stuff did she do to you as a kid? She was always trying to kill me. Oh. She would say, Tom, come and look at, out this window and let me push you from it. Why would she say that? That's the great thing about her. Uh, she not was not smart. smart enough. Too much foreshadowing, yeah. She would say, Tom, come eat this poison cookie. Ah, pretty yes. blunt. That's yes, pretty, straight to pretty the blunt. Point. Yeah. Yes, but she wants to be the queen of the northeast, and I said to her, "You can be. I will let you be. I are don't. You are ready to abdicate. I don't want to be the king. I want to marry Rhiannon. Of course you do. It's beautiful. You told us the I milkmaid. Yeah, we you, could conjure wait, an image. You've not conjured Rhiannon. Oh, have you? are we good? Um, do you want to? 
Do you want I to see her hazel eyes, or did you, uh, or whatever color her eyes are? I do fear that she may have taken up with someone else. No. The Dark Lord. <gasps> oh God! No, I've heard that he's gay. Oh, that's right. That's yeah. right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, but that's, that's right. always that's sort of always the, the first, first rumor, you know, so you really can't really yeah. you sort of disregard those. But I will tell you, it's been some time. She is comely lass. I do fear she may have taken up with a milk boy. Oh. oh, back to her own kind. She's giving her milk to someone else, and I shall be very sad. A lot of times, I mean, if you see a kid that doesn't look like its father, you're like, oh, I'm probably the milk boy, right? Yes. Oh, milk boys they, I mean, are they... known. Milk boys are known to go for ladies when their when their husbands and fathers are gone. Oh, Tom. No one more than you, Sador, knows the pain of heartbreak. I do tell thee, I feel nothing but sorrow for thee. Thou must look deep within thyself, find some inner strength, raise thy sword, and prepare, prepare for battle. Yea, for the only way to get over the breakage of a heart is to take up arms and to fight the evil that does threaten to control and consume us all. Why are you pinching your genitals? Uh, I got excited. There's blood on your robe. I'm sorry, but your sister, uh, have, you did not run into her. She did not catch up with you. No, although she is hot on my trail, and I must return home before she finds me. I shall reveal myself and then declare that I shall follow Gaswainus on his quest. Do you think your mom and dad will be cool with that? Or? No, they're not cool with anything. I mean, this is really a get for me. I mean, this kind of exposure. You don't get this kind of exposure all the time. A tosser. Uh, you're a tosser. A tosser I, he's going to go up on stage. Well, I'm it is tosser. Tosser. a tosser. Oh, you're going you, to win the tosser. Not, I'm sure there. of that. Uh, and uh, uh, there once he says, and, and I accept this award for my role in Danlet, and I shall join Gatsmuenus Maystar. Great wizard of the Northeast upon his quest to defeat the Dark Lord. Leave your bits alone. You're hurting yourself. I'm sorry. You're really I'm sorry. Rubbing. I hate to put you... I don't know if this is on the spot or if that's a term that cocktailers use, but could you give us, like, a monologue or, like, any sort of taste? Just a few lines from Dan Lit, like, whatever. Because, I mean, I, we didn't get to see the play, and I'm yes. heartbroken. Oh, Because okay. oh, oh, yes. you're, oh, oh. you're the best cocktailer I've ever seen. Right, and I, I just want to oh, see... I just want to hear some of Dan Lit. Could I see the scene where he... He, he confronts uh, the, the three ghosts. Okay. Oh. All right. It just is a, mon- this is a very famous monologue from Dan Lit. But I've never seen a performance. So excited. <laughs> <coughs> what are these three ghosts I see here? Everyone shut up! <coughs> <laughs> what are these three ghosts I see here? Have they... Assumed some form to be pleasing to me? I, for now I speak to you, the audience, and the others cannot hear me. This I ask, being or not being? <laughs> that is the interrogative. Whether it is better in the mind to live or to die, I, Danlet, must decide. And here I look upon the faces of all, all of you. Of you, all of you yes. What, sir, uh, do you decide? And this is the part where it becomes interactive. Yes, yes, oh, yes. Yes. So I look at someone who looks like they would be good to interact with, and I say, what, sir, do you decide? I decide uh, to... I decide to follow you to the ends of Foon. Yeah, but we get a lot of stalkers. You know, and then that that's when they make themselves apparent. Sure. So I we mean, try to weed them out. Good move. I just want to... Ah, uh, yes, excellent. So what? Thank you. Thank you. Everyone can talk again! That was, uh, that was unbelievable. I mean, if I... I wish I had, like, clout with the tosser committee, because, you, I mean, you earned it. That's you. Tossers are not important. The most important thing is love... And second most important is defeating the Dark Lord. I, I might flip those around. Yeah. Personally. Tom gets it. This guy gets it. You Wait, get you, it. You said you were in two plays. You said Danlet. Was there another one? Did you mention the other one? Uh, or do yes. you have an upcoming production? Oh, yeah, yeah, yes. Um, uh, I have a noble cock. But what's the upcoming production? Oh, it's called I Have a Noble Cock. Oh. Oh, well, we see, we see. Uh, what's it's that one about? the story of a farmer 
who discovers that um, one of his chickens is a king. <laughs> oh, you don't know I have a noble cock? I'm not familiar with it. I've heard the title, but I've never seen it before. No. Yes, it, he discovers that one of his chickens is a king. Well. And then it's for, more for children. Yeah, yeah so it sounds, like, it sounds when you that. said the title, I was like, oh, that's kind of a good story. And the eggs, he goes out and the eggs spill things out. Like the chicken lays it in a pattern or the eggs themselves yes. roll? Okay. Well, he thinks, yeah. but the discovery later is that it's a frog. Have you thought about changing it to a Burger King? Well, I don't know what one is. Do you think Arnor is dead? Arnie. Probably. Because I was just thinking... I mean, it's been a week. Probably Sarah. Mm-hmm. Is that the name? Yes, that's his, his, his wife. wife's name, yes. Why who, who are all the names better? so strange? Uh, if you're from Earth, send us a list of all the names. Is she called Sarah Hockamp? Do you must... Sarah... Repeat? Sarah Rockamp. That would make Sarah. sense. Sarah Rockamp. Arnie Kneekamp. Arnie Sarah Rockamp. Sarah Rockamp. I wonder how many milk boys she's had. Oh, well, Chunt, did you get any emails this week? I did, and um, uh, again, you can email me at chunt with six T's at gmail.com. Please email uh, me whatever races, I guess, the or or classes there are in on Earth, and whatever the names are, all the names on Earth. Please yes, email. Yes, you can also contact me on Twitter. Uh, send me a twat at Usador the Blue. You can also contact me by peering into the very dark depths of your partner's eyes. And wishing as hard as you can. All right, let's get to some emails here. Uh, we have an email that says, Hi, Chunt. I was wondering if there will be a funeral for Flower since it was thrown off a cliff in episode three. Uh, also, I don't know if you can... It, I, I don't know if we know that Flower is dead or not, right? We never saw her again. I, I don't know. Just falling off a cliff might not kill a flower. Yeah. Also, I don't know if you can do this, but can you feature this in the next episode of Hello from the Magic Tavern? By the way, me and my older sister are huge fans of the show, and I just wanted to say that you are our favorite character. Oh, And I hope I am hopefully getting a chunk. <laughs> An older sister? How does that happen? Boys are always born first, yeah, are boys. they? Yeah. Boy, girl, boy, girl, boy, girl. Yeah. Bonnie and Helen are younger than my dad. Well, yeah, I don't know. Uh, and I just want to say that you're our favorite character, and I am hopefully getting a Chunt t-shirt for my birthday on July 22nd. I am turning 12. Oh, um... Oh, that's so adorable. I oh, probably shouldn't be listening. Hopefully, maybe, please, your new friend, please, Meg, please also mention my sister, Abby. She has a fandom for this podcast. Meg and Abby. Oh, she is... We are delighted by your fandom. So they must have an oldest brother. Yeah, I, ah, I think, that yeah, that's, sense. you're absolutely right, yes. absolutely right. Eat your spiced <laughs> potatoes. Uh, well, thank you, Meg and Abby, and uh, happy birthday on July 22nd. Uh, Usador, I know you don't have uh, any emails per se, but I want to use this time where normally Arnie would read his emails. If you could, because I love your chef cadence, I would like you to have your own segment. Oh, would you give us a recipe for more? Uh, oh, I, God, this has to be so hard for you. Would you give us your recipe for more glorb? Yes, <laughs> Most good, fine. <laughs> the most beautiful and fully bloomed morgel bush. Oh, yeah, yeah, you do. Dig it up and make sure you do not scrape the roots as you dig. Cut the root off completely. Take it back to your hovel at the top of the hill. You know I will. Wash it off very slowly. Okay. Then set it in a brine for six days. Oh, Oh, then drain off the brine and crush the root in a mortal and pestle. I've already bitten it. Oh, and then mix in a little bit of mayonnaise, just to give it that white texture. And then, of course, carve up some mushrooms and put them in there as well, and mash it into a ball, and then bake it in your oven for about 20 minutes. So it's nice and crispy on the outside, and you bite into the Morglo ball. Oh, it, it, it's soft and sweet on the inside. Tom, do you need a towel? You are sweating profusely. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's a lot to kick Morglo. And honestly, with the stress of going back to my parents, it's very tempting to just do one night of it. No, you must be clear of mind when you go back to confront your family. Yeah, I just feel like maybe one bite of more global just really... I, I do, just, please don't. You said, right, I'm not sure if you mentioned adding some mayonnaise. I'm not sure if Earth has mayonnaise. Oh, yes. Uh, mayonnaise is made from uh, 
egg whites. And pi- I don't know. I just buy it in a jar here at the Vermilion Minotaur. I believe it's egg whites and oil. And uh, no, and it could be a nose. I always thought mayonnaise. A nose, yes. Was because mayonnaise is a chance food. Yeah. Here yeah, on Earth, have chance foods. Foods that begin with the syllable may because they may contain something awful. That's correct. Oh, yeah. yeah. Like may beans. May beans. Yeah, which mayonnaise. might have poop in them. Yes, exactly. <laughs> but right. the ones that don't are delicious. Sure. Uh, uh, may apples. I'm not a fan of. Yeah. No. I've been into too many and uh, been confronted with uh, a bit of my own flesh. Oh, yes. How do they make those? I don't know. Because it's definitely your own. Yes, you can tell. You can tell. I miss already. You believe me when I say this podcast isn't real, right? I know it seems to take some of the fun out of it, but if you all knew that there were multiple dimensions, there would be dire consequences. So it's not real. We're all in this together. Chunt was played by Adol Rafai. Usador was played by Matt Young. The Burger King drive-thru worker was played by Max Temkin. Tom Blaine Belleroth was played by special guest Steve Waltine. Steve and Matt performed together regularly in the improvised Shakespeare Company. Follow Steve on Twitter at Waltine. Hello from the Magic Tavern is produced by Arnie Niekamp, Evan Jakova, and Ryan DeGiorgi. Edited by Ryan DeGiorgi. Music by Andy Poland. Hello from the Magic Tavern logo by Allard LeBan. Learn more about the show and see for yourself how it's not real because it's fake at hellofromthemagictavern.com or follow us on Twitter at Magic Tavern. You can find Hello from the Magic Tavern on Facebook, but you can't find us in other dimensions because, as I've told you, there aren't any. Order a Hello from the Magic Tavern t-shirt from magictavern.annarbortees.com. Yes, Ann Arbor, Michigan, producers of the finest t-shirts. If your t-shirt isn't from Ann Arbor, rip it from your chest and feed it to the dogs. All of these curious make ups were brought to you by Busy Beaver Buttons Company through the Chicago Podcast Co-op. Learn more about Busy Beaver at busybeaver.net. And if you'd like to put off interacting with the real world slightly longer and check out another show from the Chicago Podcast Co-op, check out Your Chicago. Twice a month, hosts Stefania and Arden chat with the folks who make Chicago's legendary food, keep our streets safe, Star in our shows, organize our festivals, play our unique music, and more. Your Chicago, part of the Chicago Podcast Co op. Hey, thank you for listening to Hello from the Magic Tavern. A great way to support the podcast is to join our Patreon. You'll get ad free versions of our entire back catalog, including. All the Magic Tavern spin-offs like Offices and Bosses, I Am Spin, Tax, Shadow, Sit, there are a lot of them. There are two new exclusive bonus episodes every month, Discord, all kinds of stuff. To get more information, go to patreon.com slash magic tavern. That's patreon.com slash magic tavern.